Uh, I think we're all we're all kind of waiting now, Dylan. I mean, everybody's anxious, you know, to get the update. And I mean, much as I hate to say, the truth is, is it's still going to be a little while, you know. It's not going to be coming. You know, I said that February 14th, or originally, I thought would be the soonest it could come out. I don't even think that's remotely realistic anymore. Hopefully I'm wrong. I don't know. What are your thoughts there, Side? Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> On a, a release date. For this patch? Yeah. I mean, so, when Isom was doing the thing with you yesterday, he said, like, he'll probably have, you know, a release date in a few weeks. That's, you know, not a definitive statement. Three weeks from now, we'll know, but... Right. I'd say probably sometime... You know, a few weeks from now is what? End of middle, end of February, end of February? Yeah. I'd say sometime mid March. Early to mid. That's still a ways away, but I, I would a have ways to away. agree. I think that's probably uh, pretty realistic. But like, the whole idea of like saying, you know, a few weeks away from a release date means to me they want to do a few more weeks of testing. <laughs> Absolutely. And then after that, you know, there's still probably a couple weeks on top of that. Well, I know that they're uh, they're definitely recruiting for like a second round of playtesting for this group. So I mean, the like the second round hasn't even started yet. I think anyway. Of course, I don't. I I like I like to guess and guess along with the viewers. So I have not joined the the RPG. I would if they put. Consider it. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say I was, I was reconsidering joining. Because I don't think I'm gonna be doing like, seven or uh, fourteen streams a week. <laughs> considering right. how far out it probably is gonna be. But then I thought like. I I don't want to really like, know what's gonna work ahead of time going into it day one as well. Yeah. Definitely. So not only being able to like discuss things and like be on you can play and feel a discussion with everyone else. Like, also, you know, kind of knowing what to do day one. Oh, yeah. Well, eh. I mean, the guessing is half the fun, you know? Oh, exactly. Yeah, that's the only way to get the auto meow there. Typic is by evolving a ghetto egg with gems. That may change in the future. I actually had a discussion directly about the auto meow with one of the trendy trendy folks. So we got a little archer PDTness going on. Yeah, anyway, I can definitely see the You know, now I never fully stopped using the PDTs. If I was you know, I do a lot of a lot of solo grinding while watching TV or whatever, you know, and, um, I mean, I've always, I've been putting the PDTs in the mix almost the whole time, unless I was B-building, but I'm definitely considering bringing the, the Beast Mode, uh, PDT set back over from the Cannonball Squire, as it, you know, I, I just got the strangest feeling that I'm going to do Bastille Master about 500 times before the update comes. <laughs> mm-hmm, for sure. Figure 500 Bastille Master runs is... I think that would work out to... to like 10 million gold. That'd be a nice extra Only chunk. 500. <laughs> that's crazy, isn't it? Only 500. That's, um, that's a bit much. Yeah, uh, ridiculous. I don't know. Like I was saying in like I was saying in your chat earlier, I think I would absolutely kill the game for myself if I was farming the same map like consistently for six weeks until the patch oh, or whatever yeah. it ends up being. It's just too much. I mean I've actually already did that once with Life Root. I did nothing but Life Root grinding over and over and over again for probably a month. At least a month. And um I mean, now, still, now it's a year and a half, two years later, and I just don't like doing Life Root because of that. 
Cat screaming at me. Cat's screaming at you. That's yeah, no good. My cat is weird. Every every once in a while, he just like yells at you. <laughs> I don't know. The cat version of yelling at you. <laughs> What's going on, Krypton Gamer? Yeah, the Hardy Blockade passive ring is. can definitely be. it can be elusive for you if you're actually hunting for it. And then, of course, if you don't care and you've got a squire in your deck, it seems to show up. <laughs> I had a... what, I had like a 690-ish 40% uh, uh, hardy totem, and you know, I was more than content with that, and then uh, like a 698 or whatever ended up showing up one day for me. Little out of range of the old grab bot there. I screwed the pooch on that one. You missed a bit? Just a bit. <laughs> Ooh, I got some good hang time on the ogre there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Glitter hit 50 million gold probably either, probably today. I mean, he's also got almost 6,000 hours into, or something ridiculous. Or no, he's got 3,000 hours. Still a ridiculous amount of time. I mean, he's done some massive gold grinding, obviously, to get to to get to that number. When I got up to that That's big number like that, the gold spheres were all working. Which I'm sure, you know, a lot of his gold came from when the gold spheres were working as well. 50 mil. Got wrecked. I reached over That's to... crazy. I reached over to turn down the heat and stood in the wrong place. <laughs> Yeah, How much posted, did gold spears give you? You were you could more? get about if you were grinding like um, Dragonfall Bazaar, you'd end up getting like six hundred and fifty to seven hundred thousand an hour. Damn. So I mean, it was pretty. It was significant, you know. But I mean, you could still get four hundred plus an hour if you get on a really good uh, good rhythm with Bastille. It just like you mentioned, just grinding the same map over and over again just gets old. Sure, but in terms of effect of the goal sphere, I've never used them. How much do they like increase what can I do is it like percent chance to get the, X amount extra or something like that? Can't well the remember. key was that um, you combined it with jackpot and you did that you use the gold sphere that um, gives enemies a chance to drop one hundred gold upon kill. Well, what that would turn into is, you know, you'd roll into a pack of them with a full jackpot set and that sphere and, like, the 30% sphere, and you'd kill a pack of, like, you know, say 10 little baddies or whatever, and there'd be, like, 6,000, 7,000 gold sitting there in that pile from the the 100, you know, all the modification or all the modifiers going into effect with the, uh, the chance for 100 to drop. It would end up being... The, you know, 600, 1100, whatever the case is, would drop just from the kill. So, I mean, it was, you know, it was very easy. During the carnival last time, I went a little overboard with that. I was spending six hours a day, five hours a day in Dragonfall Bazaar, just grinding out mobs on that were sitting there whacking on a blockade that had been turned around backwards. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, it was definitely boring as hell, but it was effective. I mean, I'm not still positive, of course, if it's absolutely the best, but it seems like to me it's the best right now. I'm getting a little over 400k per hour doing like uh, five minute runs, including load time, five to six minute runs, and just grinding them. And I'm getting about 25,000, uh, including selling the stuff. I'm getting like 25,000 to, on the really good runs, maybe 30,000. So I'm, I'm still not positive if it's the best, but it, it seems that way. 
Well, I would imagine so. I mean, not the fastest map, but the fastest map where you get a lot of uh, loot. Right. It just makes sense to be it. Yeah. Now, it definitely seems, I mean, if you do a spawn camp build on Maldonis to mix it up, you're only slightly below that. Really, because you can get Maldonis done really quick if you, if you, you know, if there's one builder and you just grind it out real quick, building it up. It seems like you can complete that one start to finish in like 14 minutes or something. Now, obviously, that's not near as fast, but the You're map is Mount just Honest? littered. Yeah. The map just gets littered with blues. But obviously, it's a time sink. And, I mean, last night I had a blinking run that... I just couldn't believe the amount of loot that dropped. It was just... I mean, none of it was any good, but just for, for selling. But the stuff was just everywhere. Look at me, cleansing knights. See that? I'm pretending to help. <laughs> Are you? I'm not even pretending. I cleansed one knight. I'm just kind of floating around, <laughs> watching <laughs> the map, barely even DPSing. I'm also watching you take oh, this thing Oh no. Oh, I'm watching you take you out. Ah, all the little bads wrecked me. I thought with my 18k health, I'd be able to just park in the middle of it. But, so much for uh, my entire string of grab bots that I got placed there. <laughs> they look pretty. They are all to waste now. Oh, oh. there we go. Wiped out the I pack. Died. Okay, let me, uh, let me kill that for him then. <laughs> Ooh, looks like the archers got hit by a uh, rocket. Yeah, That's days. Fine. Days just mentioned Mount Dennis has two extra hard lanes worth of mobs, so it's just all the, all the trash loot that's dropping. Thanks for following there, Renz. There's a lot of, like, I'm gonna say big tier, like, because there's, like, the tiny goblin skeletons and, like, the orc-sized skeletons. Like a bunch of those. Does that matter for gold and loot? I don't know. I'm not sure. It seems like... I don't know, it seems like they wouldn't drop as many. But I've always, you know, part of it is just my superstition, too. I've just always had really good luck with that map. When the cap was uh, item power 700, there was a time where probably 50% of all my gear came from Temple and Necrotic. Just that's where I would go, and that's where it would drop for me. So I've still got that old fondness, whether it's accurate or not, who knows. <laughs> Where's the bosses? There we go. Oh, we dead. <laughs> Never mind. Thanks for following there, Than. Yep. Let's see. How do you guys kill the rollers so fast? Well, there's a lot of different ways. Uh, they're all on my channel. But, I mean, the main thing now is we've just got multiple uh, fairly efficient DPS players playing right now, so it makes it pretty easy to tag team. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Fairly <laughs> efficient. You know, just relatively kind of maybe efficient. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, mainly I was uh, referring to Wrecked in Inuyasha. <laughs> no. I see. I see how it is. You all well, carry sure, me. Uh, is that what's up? I'm is sure. Is that um, what's up? I'm sure your AP gun witch is putting out more than my AP gun witch is these days. Oh, I've been uh, I've been dryading. Oh, are you on the dryad? Didn't even realize. Well, yeah, we were are. talking about it earlier, so I figured I'd pull it out. Yeah. I'd whip out my dryad. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> That's it. Ogre. Ogre. Goose. No, it's another ogre. <laughs> we got lucky here. I mean, there's a there's a lot of different ways to kill it quick. And, uh, 
you know, using various heroes. And there's lots of cheese right now. I mean, you can use that Harbinger's Fist or Harbinger's Punch. I don't remember which one it is. Monk weapon and just destroy it. No one really I knows why. I haven't tried that yet. But it, it hits it. Pull Smash just hits it for ridiculous numbers. I need to pull that out for off-stream killing. Thanks for following there, Becca. There we go. That's two knights cleansed in one match. Damn, dude. I am a model of efficiency. <laughs> I mean, that's all you need for a uh, gate build on this map. Oh, yeah. Aiden, thanks for subscribing. Wreck it, Dylan, is Dylan Cutler. Well, awesome. Well, thanks for, uh, thanks for coming over to check it out. I made a new, uh, I made, made a new Sidewalk Hero, uh, thumbnail this morning for YouTube. Whoa. You Whoa. Have to check it out. Damn. <laughs> You just need a picture of a meter maid. Who did? <laughs> who um? Who'd you say did all that artwork for you? It's a guy, uh, a guy named Simitar GG. Did he do your logo too? Yes, he did. He did all my stuff. Definitely did a good job with all of it. Oh, it's real good. He he went over and did a lot of the things twice. He did a first pass, wasn't satisfied, and did a second one. I thought the third stuff was good. The second stuff's great looking though. Hell yeah. Well, I mean, artists, that's what artists do, you know. They always make multiple passes. Somebody like oh, me looks sure. at it and thinks it's awesome, and they're they're like, no, will not do. <laughs> Got a crappy, uh, crappy sword from that one. If you punch a car's trunk, will it explode? Well, you should try. If you punch a car's trunk? Is that what you just said? That's what, uh... Yeah, that's what somebody just said, talking about that Harbinger's punch or Harbinger's fist or whatever. Oh. I see what they're saying. So got 19,000 just off the map for that one. Mm-hmm. That's pretty decent. I mean, obviously it's seven waves and a little more time.